Hello, and welcome to today's webinar, VMware Lab for Training, Practice, or Proof of Concept. I'd like to start by asking you this question. Are you concerned about the cost of running your IT testing or training initiatives? I know most likely you are, and even if you are not, you should know that there is a way to significantly reduce the cost to test your applications or train users. In this presentation, I will introduce you to a new, highly efficient solution for test and training environments. VMware Lab, based in the cloud. Alright, so what are the challenges that we face in terms of building a lab for training, practice, or proof of concept? Challenge number one is, we don't have sufficient servers, multiple network cards, lots of memory, fast iSCSI SAN, or an NFS storage, enough switches or routers, AD, DNS servers, and the list goes on and on. In other words, building fully functional VMware Lab is expensive and it does require lots of resources. It's the single largest factor in the delay of user or sysadmin training. It significantly does slow down testing and releasing upgrades. It is also a major slowdown for planning new application deployments or building a proof of concept environment. So the time required to build and maintain test and training environments is challenge number two. Number three. It's a challenge to stay competitive and to support your production environment if you can't get access to testing, training, or hands-on practice lab when you actually need one. Available servers dedicated to test usually are old systems and capable of handling the load or simply can't run the latest software version or it's not VMware compatible. Challenge number four. Because of the cost associated with buying servers and network equipment for testing and training, businesses see their test environments as inefficient and costly based on their return on investment. Reality is, it's very hard to convince the CEO or CFO of the company to spend money for testing or training equipment. As a result of that, in many small organizations, there is no budget for test servers. So sometimes, you are forced to use production servers to do testing, or you simply do not test at all. Did you know that the reason number one for production systems to go down is the fact the IT didn't test the upgrade or the new application deployment before putting it into production? Well, you should know that there is a way to deal with this problem. Quite often, the inability to ensure that test environments match production environments can result in quality problems and significantly slows down the process of finding a resolution to critical system and application issues when the systems and applications are deployed. As our virtual infrastructure configurations grows in complexity and VMware releases new products or a whole new line of products, we are faced with the same expectations to deliver tested and innovative solution by reducing not just the cost, but also to speed up the whole process of testing and training. Now, this is a real challenge if you don't have all of the resources. So how can you reduce the cost, the time to plan, install, configure, validate, and support complex virtual labs for training, practice, or proof of concept? Well, there is a solution, and it's time for you to look at private cloud-based environments as a way to address those challenges. It's time for a breakthrough, innovative solution called Cloud-Based VMware Lab. The Cloud-Based VMware Lab is a way to reduce the required time and investment in infrastructure because it delivers virtualized applications, operating systems, networking, and server resources on demand. The Cloud-Based VMware Lab can help you rapidly test new features and train users on applications in a simplified and efficient way. Our private test environment is about ease of access and use the ability to get the test resources quickly and have elastic scalability. And the best part of it is that you only pay for what you use. This infrastructure on demand can be used to deliver testing and training services dynamically on demand, as you can see right here on this workflow of a cloud computing model. With our VMware Lab test and training environment, in the cloud CIOs, IT managers, test and development teams, system administrators will realize the benefits that cloud computing can provide for testing and training initiatives, such as significantly reduce time to take new technologies and innovations through the test or proof of concept cycle so that they are delivered quicker and with higher quality, labor cost savings related to time spent installing, configuring, and supporting dedicated test or training environments, elimination of errors, estimates as high as 30% that come from faulty configurations, more efficient resource management achieved by optimizing the existing server and network infrastructure for use with production applications only, reduction in IT operating and capital costs by avoiding the investment into underutilized servers and network infrastructure. All right, let's take a look at how the lab is organized. Let's start with the hardware layer. 
First, we have a number of enterprise-level physical servers organized in a cluster, part of the same network. In each physical server, we have six network cards, two of them dedicated to SAN connectivity and four to virtual machines and management, 32 gigs of RAM, and a KVM controller. We've got multiple redundant switches to serve each of the two physically isolated networks. The regular virtual machine network, green color, and the SAN network, red color. It's a best practice to run your SAN traffic on an isolated network segment for better performance and reliability. In fact, running your SAN and your regular network on the same segment is a recipe for disaster. For shared storage, we've got an array of Dell Equalogic SAN units, physically cross-connected to two redundant SAN switches. Each SAN unit has six gigabit network uplinks to the switch, three of them connected to SAN switch 1 and three to SAN switch 2. The IP address of the iSCSI SAN, the iSCSI target, is 192.168.4.200. You are going to need this IP address to add a shared storage to your ESXi server. The iSCSI SAN has two LUNs, Shared Storage 12 and Shared Storage 14, that you can use to place virtual machines on and also plays critical role to installing and configuring VMware's advanced features such as vMotion, HA, DRS, Fault Tolerance. You need shared storage for all of these features to work. The two LUNs allow you to do storage vMotion, which is to migrate running VMs from one LUN to the other. Each one of the physical hosts, or servers, has two gigabit network cards cross-linked to the SAN switches for multi-pathing. Network card 1 is plugged into SAN switch 1, and NIC 2 goes to SAN switch 2. We use two network cards for SAN connectivity, so that you can configure SAN multi-pathing for redundancy, but also to bind the two network cards to increase performance. On the same network, we have an NFS server, IP address 192.168.4.222 that you can use to learn how to mount and work with NFS shares. And also, we've got a Pixie server, IP 192.168.4.2. Now let's take a look at the regular virtual machine network, green color. The VM network has an Active Directory server called Viad, with an IP address 10.1.20.4. We use it as domain controller to authenticate and authorize all users and computers in the network. It's also used to integrate VMware ESXi server and vCenter authentication with Active Directory. There's a DNS server sitting at IP address 10.1.20.3. DNS is a required component for most of the VMware features to work properly. Now, down here we've got Microsoft SQL Server called vApp1 with an IP address of 10.1.20.5. SQL Server is there to host all of the VMware vSphere databases. For example, vCenter database and update manager database. Right here we've got the shared instance of vCenter Server called vApp3 with an IP address of 10.1.20.6 and fqdn vapp3.lab.viadmin.com. You can use this shared pre-installed instance of vCenter Server to practice the advanced VMware features such as vMotion, high availability, fault tolerance, DRS, etc. This is where you can find Windows and Linux virtual machine templates that you can use to quickly provision new virtual machines. As I said earlier, each one of the physical servers has 4 gigabit network cards plugged into the virtual machine network switches. The reason we use 4 network cards for VM network traffic and connectivity is that 1. You can configure vMotion with its own dedicated NIC. 2. You can set up the management network with one or two NICs for redundancy. This allows you to experiment with link aggregation to achieve better performance and multi-pathing for redundancy. 3. You can do the same with the network cards dedicated to VM traffic. With 32 gigs of memory and super fast SAN, each physical host can easily run 10 to 15 or more virtual machines. Working with DRS does require a number of virtual machines, so that won't be an issue here. To manage your physical host, your ESXi server and the rest of the virtual infrastructure components, you'll be provided with remote access to a 64-bit virtual machine running Windows Server 2008 R2. This is your management station that you can always access even if you power down your dedicated physical host or ESXi server. Now, after signing in, you'll receive a username and password so that you can connect to your own management station through Microsoft Remote Desktop Protocol, RDP. If you're connecting from a non-Windows-based computer, you can use one of these RDP clients for Linux, Solaris, or BSD use. 
our desktop. And for Mac OS, you can use TS Client X. You can even access the lab from your iPad. You just need to install the free 2X app from the Apple App Store. So no matter where you are located, different city or continent, you can use Windows Remote Desktop to access your management station and do all of the testing and training. With our standard package, when you log into the VMware Lab, in addition to your main physical host, for example, ESX100, IP 10.1.20.100, you have an access to at least one or more shared ESXi servers. For example, ESX60 with an IP 10.1.20.60, with the same specs connected to the same shared storage so that you can set up vMotion, HA, DRS, FT, and all of the advanced VMware features. And without fast shared storage, you know that won't be possible. Installing ESXi server on the physical host can easily be done with the help of the remote keyboard video mouse controller, aka KVM. KVM is an interface card that provides out-of-band management facilities meaning you can manage and configure server setting even if the server is powered down. It has its own web interface, network connection, and access to the server system bus. With the KVM controller, you can power up and down your host, mount virtual DVD images in order to install ESXi. You can also access server's remote video console through a supported web browser, Internet Explorer, which gives you the ability to manage the physical host as if you were sitting in front of it. All right, so with our cloud-based VMware testing and training lab, we offer a new method of delivering complex testing and training environments that overcome many of the challenges of traditional testing environments and methods. By adopting the private test cloud methodology, you are benefiting from new and better ways for your IT staff and users to access services which traditionally used to be extremely hard to configure and very expensive, immediately and at the fraction of the cost. Our test cloud offers an improved means of infrastructure management and supports faster service delivery. The key features of the test and training cloud are standardized server templates, cloud-based services, elastic scaling, flexible pricing, metering and billing capability, advanced virtualization features, rapid provisioning of resources. Our VMware test clouds are hosted for our clients and maintained behind the firewall and are typically part of a client's IT infrastructure using a private network. The private test cloud is readily auditable and offers the benefits of security, known resiliency, a very high utilization of internal resources, and ability to customize the resources to meet a specific need. With VMware Hosted Test Cloud, you can forget about your capital expense concerns, the need to ensure service automation, ease of consumer use and access. Also, you are no longer dependent on your internal availability, which may be limited depending on the resource investment you made in your infrastructure. Because traditional testing methods can be long, drawn-out manual processes that tie up many resources, the test environment is a prime target for leveraging a cloud-based solution. Considering that development and test cycles are critical paths to offering new services to clients, it's an opportunity to increase the speed of innovation and improve solution quality. Cloud testing transforms the way testing and training is done and can help an organization boost its competitiveness by reducing the expense of testing and training without negatively impacting mission-critical production applications. By leveraging a cloud for testing and training, organizations can shorten provisioning time because the cloud enables provisioning of test servers on demand. This helps ensure unused servers are reprovisioned, which maximizes asset usage. Consider that some of our major customers were able to save 83% in capital costs and drive utilization up 75% on Windows and Linux systems with the faster provisioning provided by a test cloud infrastructure. By automating the provisioning of test and training resources, organizations attack a key variable cost that has an impact on their bottom line, IT operating costs. Then, organizations can redirect key resources from manual configuration activities and previously underutilized assets to more mission-critical and value-added tasks. Furthermore, with test and training cloud environments, test teams can leverage live environments for their testing and training services and not just modeling tools. Using the cloud for test or training lab environment, Assume that a tester needs a highly complex test environment configured in order to conduct performance testing on a new application, or a trainer needs a copy of the same test environment to train the pilot user group. As illustrated in Figure 1, in a test cloud environment, the tester, trainer, or user would first log on to a service request portal with accesses to a services catalog and then submit the request for the test environment desired. The portal masks the underlying complex infrastructure from the user so that the focus is shifted to the services provided. 
The request is delivered through the Service Request Catalog and passes through the cloud infrastructure where the requested resources, including the bare metal operating system, databases, and network are provisioned. The services can be defined as a simple set of images inside the VMware Virtual Lab or a complex interdependent application stack. When testing completes, the resources can be deprovisioned and returned, as illustrated in Figure 2, to the resource pool for others to use. This on-demand approach facilitates resource sharing and prevents hoarding of resources that have low utilization. With implementation of an automated cloud lab solution, our customers reduce the time to build, test, development, and training environments from about a month down to around 30 minutes and were able to cut administrative costs and better utilize existing assets. This also dramatically improved their overall consumer satisfaction and helped improve innovation within the organization. And with that said, I'd like to invite you to give a try and see for yourself. Thank you for joining me for this webinar presentation, and I sincerely hope that we can start working today to lower the cost of your testing or training environment. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of your day.